Hey yo guys, I'm Isaac and we have a ginormous update for you guys this week. I accidentally said last week that we were going to have a floor and a ceiling. We should be having a floor and a ceiling by next episode. We're not going to get the ceiling done this week, but we do have a floor and to make up for not having a ceiling, we also are going to paint the walls and both of those are going to go so far into making the room look really real. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you're wondering why I put that explosion in every single episode, it's because I am blown away by the amount of progress we make to this room every single week. And this update is no different. In fact, this update goes above and beyond. We got two major things done this week, a beautiful floor and some amazing pristine walls. And I gotta say, this went a really long way in making me really think about this room as a real room. It's just becoming real for me, so. I suppose it's time to address the elephant in the room, which is all of this machinery behind me. I actually don't know what this is. I think it's like a nuclear reactor or something. I'm not really sure why that's there. But we need to cover this up. We're not gonna just leave this ugly thing out in plain sight in my Lego room. So what we're planning to do is build a like a temporary wall because we still need to access the machines. We can't just like block them off forever. So we, we're gonna build a temporary wall that comes out from here over in front of all the machines and then back in. That'll go from floor to ceiling. We can pull it out whenever we need to access the machines. We can push it back in when we wanna cover them up. And for the most part, it will also muffle the sound coming from the nuclear reactor machines. And the cool thing is that big temporary wall is going to be covered on the surface with whiteboard material from floor to ceiling that I can scribble on, I can draw Lego ideas, I can write down notes, a to-do list, just do some art, doodle all over this thing, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. So don't worry about the ugly machines being in my room. They're gonna get completely covered. I'm never gonna see them again once we build that wall. And I think that's all I have to say in this video. I really hope you guys get an idea of how cool this room is. And if you don't from the video, then you might as well come and visit me sometime. Anyway, if you missed out on my previous Lego Room videos and would like to see the process of that, click right up there to check out some of those. Click right down there to see a video YouTube recommends for you. And to subscribe, that way you don't miss the next episode, click right down there on my Lego face. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.